Let's dive in and look at how viral vector vaccines work. There are 200 different strains responsible for the common cold and adenoviruses are one of them. These viruses are made into vaccine carriers by removing the gene that is responsible for them multiplying so they can no longer reproduce and by removing genes from them that make them harmful. So this means that we're left behind with a harmless virus that cannot replicate. In place of these genes, scientists insert the gene that's responsible for making the spike protein on the coronavirus surface. So when we are vaccinated with the adenovirus vaccine, the harmless virus infects the cells it comes into contact with. In this case, the muscle cells in our arm. The virus carries the genetic code in double-stranded DNA with information for coding the spike protein. Once inside our cells, the adenovirus pushes the DNA into our nucleus and then our machinery inside the nucleus can read the code in the DNA and make the RNA for it, which is again pushed back into our cytoplasm. This RNA is then made into spike proteins and some protein fragments. Some of these are expressed on the surface of the cells, some of them are presented by our cells with the help of other proteins, and this makes our immune system recognize and react to these proteins because they're foreign. The cool thing about adenovirus vaccines is the carrier itself produces an immune response. These together produce quite a strong and robust response. T cells can kill the cells in our body that are already infected. B cells produce more antibodies that will attach to the spike protein and attract immune cells to come and kill it. A few weeks to months after we get vaccinated, this immune response subsides, but our body remembers that an attack has happened. Memory B and T cells remember the infection caused by the vaccine. So when we encounter the real coronavirus, it triggers the memory B cells and T cells to rapidly proliferate and launch an attack to get rid of the virus before it infects our body. We can't really stop the virus from infecting us. It gets in through our mouth, nose and eyes when we're exposed. What vaccines do really well is they get rid of the virus before it becomes a problem in our body.